Hey Chris, do you know what it takes to be able to do a reaction to a Deadpool Wolverine trailer? Maximum effort. No, it takes a computer to watch the trailer on and a camera to film it on. You dingbat. Jimmy Chong. Welcome to the Cine Fanatics. My name's Robert Adams. I'm Chris Adams. And we got a trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm super excited. Anything about Deadpool, I'm just, I'm so eager for. This is the most anticipated movie probably of the year. What? I just heard our neighbors get really angry right now because of that bouncing motion you just did. There's a Deadpool trailer. Get over it. Uh, this looks like it's going to be fun. Um, uh, we watched the first trailer before, so I'm eager to get into this one. Can we actually see Wolverine in this? I'm going to guess yes, because I think I've seen one of the thumbnails that does show him in it. So very likely we're going to see Wolverine in but this trailer. But still no mask. Hopefully. I want to see that mask. I would love yeah. to see the mask. Let's get into this. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Hi, Peanut. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so good. <clears throat> I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Life is uh... not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? That is what they're playing. Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Oof. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey! My favorite Madonna song. They get the sleeveless costume now. Oh, he is sleeveless! Yes! Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an x man This is Liefeld's only feet. <laughs> this is Liefeld's just feet. Just feet. <laughs> only feet. It's a different website. I am soaking wet right now. Oh, that is awesome looking. Ooh. Oh. That's Cassandra Nova. Boys are so silly. Nice. Elias. What I'm talking about. Who's that? Ant Man. Ant -Man. action sequence. Let's turn to Mad Max. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Evil dies tonight. I'm <laughs> that was the Doctor Strange portal. That was weird. Want to do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. <laughs> They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? Even force bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That looks like so much fun. I want to, uh, can we watch it now? Why do I have to wait till July? What? What is with this waiting thing? I don't know. Here's the thing. My initial takeaway from this trailer, this is an R-rated movie. Yeah, like I, almost every line in that movie had the f bomb. That's in it. an R-rated script <laughs> featuring R-rated characters doing R-rated things. I'm here for it. This is gonna be good. Uh, it's listen. It's Deadpool. You want Deadpool? You got Deadpool. You want Wolverine? You got Wolverine. You want Wolverine and Deadpool? You got Wolverine and Deadpool. And one of their mouths is not sewn shut this time. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was, like, in all honesty, that was one of my favorite bits is, like, the beginning of X-Men Origins Wolverine where we had the regular Wade Wilson and he was able to quip. Where we and, had uh, proof that Ryan Reynolds was the best possible choice for this character. Yeah, uh, yeah. And there was a little bit of, like, a, a, a few bits of back and forth between Wade and Wolverine. Did you ever that, shut up? Yeah. And that was about, Jesus Christ, guy, do you ever shut up? Like, that kind of stuff. And that was it. And I wanted more. 
Well, you, you're getting We're more. getting more. So you can imagine my eagerness, because I'm going to guess that you probably also have that eagerness as well. That's why you're watching this video. I also want to take a note to... <laughs> to uh, Say they actually are showing us Wolverine this time. The first trailer we only got basically a silhouette, and with the knowledge that Wolverine was going to be in the movie, of course we had set photos and other stuff that was out on the internet. But this is the first time the trailer is actually showing us this guy without the basically sleeves. with that costume, sort of. It's still without more, the mask. It's still more of the astonishing <clears throat> X Men costume. Sorry, I'm going to nerd out and nitpick here, but it's still more of that costume. Uh, it did look a little weird that he didn't have the the blue shoulder pads like what we've seen in the set photos. We're talking about practicality at this point. Yeah, what, I guess. What does these heroes look like in real life with practicality? You know, I'm going to sit here like <laughs> whine and complain about the uh, the costume when at least we're getting the yellow spandex that Cyclops Yeah, what do you want? Model. Yellow spandex? <laughs> yes, I do want yellow spandex. Yes, I do. Can I also get the blue uh, satellite dish shoulder pads, please? Oh my gosh. Thank you very Biggers much. can't be choosers. <laughs> I'm nitpicking, but yeah, this is the level of fandom that I love. They made these characters the yellow spandex a practical suit. <laughs> you know what? That's good enough. I that I'm, is the era of superheroes that we are in right now. I am completely happy with just that, and it looks phenomenal. And especially if uh, like if any of the leaked images we've seen of the mask, which I guess was on like a cup at CinemaCon, if those are accurate, which I have no reason to believe they're not Whether accurate. Whether they're accurate or AI. I know there's some AI images, generated images I think we're going around to. Well, these were the official cups that were released by... Oh, the cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's got to be the official image. That's going to look good, and I can't wait to see that on him. Also, keep in mind... This is still produced by Marvel Studios' Feige, mm -hmm. obviously. Just doesn't let them talk about cocaine. But Feige is obviously a part of this. Um, th he's going to have the mask. Yeah. He's going to have the mask. If he's got the rest of the costume, he's going to have the mask. Feige Wh is... Whether he wears it throughout the whole movie or not, I don't know. Feige is like the, the comic book level of fanboy that I feel I am, only with the actual power to do something with it. <laughs> yeah. With the money and the position... I mean, I could sit here all day long and be like, internet, world, put a mask on fucking Wolverine's face. Are you R-rated too? <laughs> it could be. Uh, but I can't do anything about it. But Feige can. And again, in Feige, we trust. Yeah. Uh, listen, looks good. Yeah, I'm super eager for that. Enough this said. Is, this is going to be one that I... I said enough said. I'm going to still say some stuff. Uh, this is one I want to go back and like replay slowly to see like all the little images that we missed out on. Oh, like yeah. there was a whole group of people with uh, the Ant Man helmet and whatnot. I want to go back and see like who all was in that picture. I could have sworn I saw what looked like uh, Pyro, who we already know is in this movie, the Aaron Sanford Pyro from the original X Men movies. Um, I think I saw him sitting back there in the same position we saw him in the previous trailers. But yeah, this it just looks so good. This would be a fun a fun trailer to deep dive into and really look for. Yeah, Cassandra Nova looks great. There's a Lyoth. There, it there is. we go. Okay, we got the Ant Man helmet opening up, <clears throat> and there's a skull underneath it. Oh, that's just gross. Oh, dude. Yeah. So there's. Oh, you got Azazel's there. There's Azazel. Yeah. So you got Pyro Lady sitting on the car. There's a Zazel, there's Lady Deathstrike, there's Toad. Toad, yeah. I can't quite tell who everybody else is. Yeah, everyone else just looks like generic, like, Mad Max characters. Yeah, you were exactly right with the Mad Max reference. That's oh, yeah. what this looks and feels it's, like so far. They're, they're gonna, so they're going to be in the uh, Void, and the Void is going to be like a Mad Max-type situation. Yeah, because we saw Eliath from the Loki show. That's also. pretty fun. Yeah, That's a fun concept. I love what they're doing with this. And so far, everything that people have been guessing or hoping for, they are doing. We originally were like, hey, because Deadpool was messing with time at the end of Deadpool 2, wouldn't that be funny if the TVA goes after him? That's what's happening. And yeah. then we got, everyone was like, well, we think Cassandra Nova might be in this. That's what's happening. Well, now we've got a bunch of other characters who are going to show up. And of course... These trailers are still hiding probably a butt ton of stuff from us. So yeah, I think like one which, of the, good one of the first things that was released was that uh, Jennifer Gardner was going to be in this reprising Electra. Yeah. That was like the first 
I think the first cameo that was actually like publicly released and known, we haven't and seen her. We still haven't seen her. So I'm betting there, there's actually a slew of stuff that they're hiding from us on purpose. There's going to be a brief shot of like, say, the Tim Story Fantastic Four. They're going to bring Chris Evans back as Human Torch. They're going to make some kind of reference about him playing Captain America in the MCU. It's going to happen. It's be, too obvious to not put that in. It there. would be really great. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> I said enough said. Now enough said. Okay. Well, what did you think of this trailer and our ramblings about this and all our excitement and giddiness and I can't wait? Let us know down below in the comments while you're down there. Make sure you hit that like button because it's down there or it's over off to the side depending on what version of YouTube you have now. Who knows? Uh, also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got fun things coming out. Uh, I just released a ranking on our shorts, uh, ranking the Radio Silence movies, the four major studio releases. So go check that out. Leave us a comment and a like on that as well. Make sure you follow us on social media. We are at The Cinefanatics on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. You can follow me personally at RCA Reacts on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Letterboxd, also YouTube.com slash RCA Reacts. Right now, I've been doing reactions for the X-Men 97 series. And you can follow me at Chris Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, as well as twitch.tv slash Chris Adams MLP. Where right now you play Pokemon and Fortnite. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, come back for all of that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this. We very much appreciate each and every one of y'all viewing this. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye I don't have another catchphrase. 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 <laughs> there there <you> it go. is. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs>